Hey folks, Johnny Vanderford here, Lorain County Community College's MEMS and Microelectronics Manufacturing Program, as well as Merit Manufacturing, Electronics and Rework Institute for Training. I'd like to spend a couple of minutes talking about first article inspection, all right? So behind me is our SMT manufacturing line, which can produce circuit boards at a rapid rate. Uh, in fact, the uh, that I've got in my hand right now, which contains a variety of electronic components, can be produced once every 36 seconds. Um, we haven't really dialed that in. We could probably be even faster than that, especially if we have more than one pick-and-play system. Sometimes when you have two or three pick-and-play systems, a circuit board containing 210 parts such as this one might be built as fast as, let's just say, 10, once every 10 seconds. It's a really high throughput. So how do we know that the SMT line has been set up correctly? How do we know that what has been put onto that line in terms of the correct parts, the correct recipes, the correct boards? How do we know that that's been processed correctly? Well, what they do is called first article inspection. This is a common process done by electronic manufacturers where they set up for production first, they take their time doing it, and then they run one or two boards entirely through there. This is one of the two boards that we ran through. And they check that board thoroughly. Um, one of the primary checks that, that we do uh, in our process is on our automated optical inspection system, which is actually offline. That's not common. After our reflow oven is done right here, that's our reflow oven right there. They come out on a conveyor and then they're just kind of collected onto a tray basically at the end of it. Um, uh, once they uh, once they come completely off. Normally, there is a longer conveyor and the AOI system sits at the end of that because the automated optical inspection system inspects for visual defects, which easily 50% of most defects that are occur on circuit boards are caused by things such as the wrong component has been placed down, an incorrect uh, or component polarity, for instance, the component is turned incorrectly, um, or just a missing component entirely from the circuit board. It just came off in some process to it here. Rather than having to worry about the touch-up people and rework people having to fix lots of that problems later, they try to dial it in at the very beginning to make sure that it's all done correctly from the beginning. And then what they do is they, once they verify that that's okay through AOI testing, commonly AOI though, then they run the rest of production, all right? So let's test this board that I've got here in our AOI system and see what's here. So I'm actually going to bring the board onto our conveyor that's uh, located on the uh, far left-hand side. There we go. Bring that up to where that is. And let's zoom in on my screen here. There we go. So that we can see what the inspection looks like press resume so now the board has gone into the 3d camera system this is our omron vt-s730 system and let's see what kind of defects this is trying to come up with here as it scans there's a little bit of shaking as it scrolls on the inside and right away it has found in this area that is over here hopefully you can see that okay in this area down over here it's each one of these pink components that comes up is one of these components that's coming up here this says the two pin mini mold is in the wrong polarity, wrong polarity, wrong polarity, wrong polarity. Another one right here in the wrong polarity, wrong polarity. Now, as it turns out, as it turns out, every single one of these components is actually the same part. It came from the same tape and reel and it's been put down all of them incorrectly. So wrong polarity basically means that it's turned, it's been put on backwards, right? And so all of these diodes, every last one of these SOD123 packages, every literally last one of them here has all been put down with an incorrect polarity associated with that. So what does that mean? And it found this out. It found this in the span of about 45 seconds. Actually, it looks like a tack time here. Oh, I didn't measure the tack time with it there. It says... 1,090 seconds. That's because I was doing some other things and letting it wait there in the meantime with it on there. Um, what that means, though, is that within 40 seconds or so, all of the defects that were found on this circuit board were found to be on just one part. 
the diode, which is rotated incorrectly. So that can just as easily, we can go back to the pick and play system, check the program and find out, ah, that part is programmed in 180 degrees incorrectly. We can fix it on the pick and play system, run another one through and verify that that board is correct. Then through some additional electronic testing, we can verify that the boards are electronically passing. And then afterwards we give the SMT line, okay, green light. Let's start making one of these every 10 to 30 seconds to it. That way the rework people, they don't have to worry too much about actually doing the rework on the boards to them because who, if we ran, let's just say hundreds of these boards, they'd all have 16 components installed incorrectly. And it's a high risk at that point to be able to make sure that all components are put on correctly, that it's still electronically functional, and it conforms to specifications that uh, the solder joints are actually done correctly with it. So a lot to do, whereas a first article inspection can really take care of a lot of that with some time and effort in the early parts of manufacturing. Being predictive is much better than being reactive, right? More to come from Lorraine County Community College's MEMS and Microelectronics Manufacturing Program. You can see it even there on the board there, MEMS and Microelectronics Manufacturing, as well as Merit Manufacturing Electronics and Rework Institute for Training. We'll see you around on the next one, folks. See you later. Bye-bye.